welcome back to the channel uh, it's fantastic to be back doing a photography video um, today like you can see it was raining all morning it's very very cloudy and I'm here at Torrey Pine State uh, Park in San Diego San Diego County and I never been here this this is my first time, never been here before. This is my first time, it's amazing. Today's I'm gonna focus only on my 70 to 200 photo uh, macro fo lens. Uh, and I'm gonna try to capture as many abstract photographs as possible. I'm gonna try to make as many abstract photographs as possible. So like I was saying, uh, I'm gonna only focus on using my 70 to 200, create some actress pictures, and I don't see sunsets going to be pretty nice. I mean, although it's clearing out back behind me on the ocean, but I don't know if I'm gonna be lucky to have something uh, spectacular or something nice. But you know, you never know, as I never live until it's super dark. So. I'm gonna grab, pack everything and go around the trail. There's a last trail that I have to do that is go all the way to the beach and we're gonna go back to that mountain that I have behind me and see what I can capture. Let's go. Okay, now I found my, I believe, first composition of the day. So I'm gonna pull out my camera. Let me try to pull. I, I think I found something very interesting if I zoom in, I believe so far that it will make a nice photo. So I will show you in a little bit. I'm gonna frame the image and set up the camera, frame the image, and I'll show you what I just found. Okay, so that's the composition that I found. I, I found this cactus on the side of the road and I believe that that create a nice abstract image. I would love to have some more light on it, but it's what it is. So that's the composition that I found, that I show you. There's a few things. So the beauty of when it's a dull day like this, when you have no detail whatsoever on the shadows, on the highlights, abstracts, is always a good, good way to go. And always look at your surroundings. Sometimes we're so focused and and the big long vista stuff or the amazing sunset and, and, and we miss the little things that create also a great photograph. Um, so I'm manually focusing. I'll pause the picture, hope you like it. And also I'm gonna pause the picture that I did when I just came into the park, also playing with some textures in the ground. And the first picture of the day was when I was coming into the park and you can see the texture of the terrain. And here is one of the many that I took of that plan, of that composition. I really love that color, the saturation, and the sharpness of these images. As you can see, the terrain is fantastic. It has those cracks, some kind of similar to the Borrego and Sabatlands and different colors. I wish I had better light. A little light shining through the clouds right now because the sun is kind of southwest. If, if I had a little sun, um, pointing or shining a tiny bit through those clouds. I will give some dimensions. Uh, I'm gonna try a shot. I think I have a composition right here with the telephoto. And well, let's see, I'm gonna set them up, find a composition. If I have something, I'll show you guys. And after exploring the area for a tiny bit, I decided to set up my tripod right in front of the cliff um, to have a stray shot to those formation. To be honest, my video doesn't do a very good 
justice of how grey this cliff looks like. Okay, I think uh, I'm a little too far for the for the composition that I had in mind. It's tricky because I have a 200 millimeter all the way up, and I still can see it like it, I see it in my brain. But I'm gonna try the shot. I'm going to go for maybe a square composition or a 16 by nine. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that. Like I said, I wish I had some light, a little light shining through there. The sun is right there. It's covered right now. I can see some rain on the horizon and the whole horizon is clear. Like it's unbelievable. Everything is cloudy completely. But if it will be some little sun light going through those clouds, to give some contrast and depth, uh, um, depth on those cracks will be fantastic because I believe a tiny bit of light, it will reflect the different colors of the sandstone. They go from lighter sandstone color all the way to red, uh, darker, or darker brown, reddish. I don't know how you want to call it, but um, okay, let me set up, I'll compose, I'll make sure that I got everything in focus and I'll come back to you to show you my composition. That is, that is my composition and sorry for the blurry. I don't know why I get it blurry, but that is the composition of all those peaks right there. It looks like Cathedral Rock Park in Nevada. So it looks like all wrinkles from this mother earth. And so my composition is try to capture this old pointy peak. And I think I'm going to opt for a 16 by nine in post production. So ISO 100 at F11, I'm gonna go F14 just to make sure everything is in focus. I'm focusing right there in the middle, manually focusing and two second timer. Big shot. And amazing. The first photo is a square cropping. And the post processing, I wanted to show the drama of the cloudy sky above me. I also went with a portrait photograph in a black and white to show that drama. But here's my favorite photo of the whole day. A 16 by nine of the whole cliff that was in front of me. And like I said, I went down to the beach and if you remember early, I thought the sunset it wouldn't be that promising. But stick to the end and you'll see what I'm talking about. The best is yet to come. I did manage to capture one more picture while I was down the beach. This resembled to the infinity stone to me and the sand and all that formation looks fantastic. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I thought that the sun said it won't be any promising. But like I always said, never pack up and leave too soon. And because you always will have your rewardings and once again thank you for watching this video and i really appreciate everybody that been following my channels please if you like this video consider subscribing liking commenting sharing to help me with the algorithm and get and reach out to more people um, i cannot be thankful enough of all my viewers all my followers uh, here is what i captured at the end of this trip